seemed like the defensive line had a pretty good day in Saturday's scrimmage. I guess just kind of how would you uh, evaluate what you saw and where the D-line's at as a whole right now, especially with that look? Yeah, man, we just, at practice every day, we've just been working our butts off, buying in what coach been emphasizing, and we just had a pretty good scrimmage on Saturday. And just to jump and double up, I mean, I guess from your perspective, one of the leaders of that room, what was that reaction like when Logan went down and how you guys kind of rallied around that? You know, we all was down and hurt, but you know, he been working his butt out to get back out there. He should be back out there pretty soon. We miss him. Yeah, but you guys did get back Ali Gay. How was his presence felt during the scrimmage? And what did you guys really see that allowed you to dominate the O-line, uh, as we've been told, in the scrimmage? Oh, yeah, Ali Gay, he was looking real. He looked like himself out there. He rushing the pass good, playing the run good. He looking like a real great player that we know it can be. And as far as O-line, we just compete with each other every day to make each other better. You know, we win some, they win some, but we all fight to make each other better. And what have you seen that may be different from them this season compared to last? The offensive line? Yeah. Oh, no, they just always working on their off days. Like Saturdays, they up here. Sundays, they up here working, getting better. And we just compete. Hey, Neil Jacques, you say WAFB TV. Uh, personally, how do you feel about another year coming up, being an LSU Tiger for another season? And, and what would you like to accomplish this year? Is it kind of a blessing for you? Yeah, it's a blessing, you know. Blessing to be out there, my brothers, one more year, man. We feeling good. We feeling confident. We've been working hard. You know, blocking a lot of noise. We know we're gonna be good this year. Hey, Neil, Scott Rapolay from the Advocate. Uh, tell us a little bit about working in uh, Coach Jones's uh, new, new system. Uh, yeah, how how well you guys feel like you're picking it up, and then the working with with uh, Coach Carter helping Coach all on the D line. He looks like he could still play. Yeah, Coach Carl, yeah, he, he's, a, he's, he's a great coach, man. He, he had 80 career sacks in the NFL. So, you know, a coach like that, you know, we're going to listen to him, buy into what, what he got to say and just do what we're supposed to do. And as far as the defense, man, Coach Don't let us get off the ball in the defense attack. We love it. We love it. Hey, Neil, Matt Trent, WBRZ TV. I, I just kind of want to, we, we keep hearing how good this defensive line is and how deep it is. Can you just pull back the curtain? What practices are like with all these, you know, talented guys and all and all of this depth? Yeah, you know, practice, 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 great. You know, we rotate. You know, I'm a starter, but the second string he'll start it just like me. You know, we rotate equal reps. You know what I'm saying? We make each other better. We got depth. That's the most important part. And we just we we pretty pretty deep at the defensive line spot. Yeah, I mean, kind of along those lines. Uh, sorry, Glenn West with uh, LSU Country. Um, just you know, some of the young guys, Jacqueline Roy and Ace. Particularly in the middle there for you guys. Um, just what's it been like seeing their development over the last couple of years? And obviously, you know, it sounds like they're going to get a ton of playing time this year. Yeah, you know, J. Roy, he's been growing fast. Mason been growing fast. They're both two great young players. They're going to be great players for the Tigers. You know, they've just been putting in a lot of work, buying into what the coach been saying, and they're going to put on a show for the Tigers this year. and he's pushing possibly for a starting position. Now, that's pretty strong movement for a guy that's that young when there's so many veterans on that defensive line. Yeah, you know, he came in ahead of the game. Like I said before, if he was, I wouldn't know he was a freshman if it wasn't on paper. You know, he was a great pass rusher, a great young player. He's going to be good. Hey, Neil, this is uh, Josh Sibley with Louisiana Bergeron Football. Uh, Coach O said the D-line shined in the first scrimmage. Uh, Kind of what knowledge has Coach Carter imparted on you uh, this year, and also what has Coach uh, Coach Jones brought into the mix with you? Coach Jones, he brought in more of attacking front for the defensive line. You know, Coach Carter, he's been teaching us all the fundamentals of football, how to get out the ball, how to use your hands, how to rush the pass, and we've just been bunting all that together to make make us compete and play at a high level. Hey, Neil, Paul Warren from Cox Sports Television. I want to circle back to uh, Ali Gay and uh, what pressed you in working with him last year and, and the way he uh, shined in the SEC. He got a high motor. He, that man, he never get tired. So we try to feed off his energy. If I'm down, he going to lift me up. If he down, I'm going to lift him up. We just push each other to get better. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've been in the rotation for years, but I mean, obviously being where you're at as a starter right now, all that, what do you think kind of was the key to maybe elevating your game to where you are? You know, just 
just working hard in the off season. I had one of the best off seasons I'd have had here. Just working hard on my off days, coming in, getting getting on the sleds, just being the best person I could be on and off the field. How much better would you say the team chemistry is right now, not only with between the players, but between the players and the coaches and say it was a year ago at this time? It's a whole lot better. We're gelling good together. We hang on hang with each other off the field. We always trying to get better, watching film together. And we we doing what we can off the field just as much as we do on the field. Durante Jones, he hasn't called a defense in a long time. But do you feel like he's going to step forward and get the job done? Most definitely, most definitely. We believe in him. He believe in us. Hey Neil, uh, this is William with uh, Tiger Rag. I want to ask you, you know, your, your journey, you know, your fifth year guy, mature. Uh, you, know, you stepped away from the team a little bit last year. So you know, worry about your grandmother. Uh, can you tell me like, where you are, meant, you know, with your where you are now, and then, you know, just how happy you were, you know, get the, the get your degree taken care of this weekend? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm happy as ever. You know, my grandma, she's better, she's healthy as ever. So as long as she good, I'm good. You know, it's pretty much, you know, we just had to come together as a unit and just find out what we had to do to get better as a team. So, you know, we, we find a pro, we did our pros and cons, and we just came together and got better.